hello good morning all today in this video we are going to discuss regarding how to make a computed field searchable in Odoo. so currently in the screen you are seeing Odoo version 15 community edition where we are continuing our Odoo 15 development tutorials so here in the screen you can see i have opened the patient records and if i open any of the record and if i click on edit you can see we have date of birth and age field so age field is a computed field from the date of birth but yet it's not stored in the database this is a non-stored compute field in odoo so if i come back to the tree view here you can see we have different age like 15 14 12 3 12 etc and if i click on search bar if i enter some integer value you can see we have the option to search by age search age so this is coming because if i click on debugger button and if you check edit control panel view that is if you check my search view here you can see i have told the system that i need to search based on the age field so that's why i have specified here i have to search based on age field inside the search view that is why when you enter some integer value the age suggestion is coming here so suppose if i need to search for the patient having age 12 i will enter 12 here and if i search age for 12 you can see the filtration is not happening it is because by default in odoo we cannot search based on a non stored compute field so age is a non-stored compute field thus we cannot use that field inside the search view so because search will use direct postgres queries in order to make search but as it is a non-stored compute field the the search will not happen thus we cannot use the non-stored compute field in search view so what we will be doing either we have to make it stored compute field or we have to define a search function for this field so we have two solution in front either we have to make this field as a stored compute field or we have to define search function for this field so let's see how we can define a search function for the age field in Odoo so that we can use that field inside the search views so let's see how we can do that so I'll go to the pie charm here we have the custom add-ons and OIM hospital module I'll go to the models folder and here we have the patient.py file where we have defined hospital.patient model and here you can see we have got age field which is type integer string age we have already defined compute function inverse function to make it editable now what we have to do we have to define the search function for this field so along with the field definition i will add a new key called search equal to then you have to define a function search function for this field so i'll move it to next line and i'll name the function as search age search age so simply i have added a search function for this field now what we have to do we have to define a search function like on searching that field a function has to be executed in order to return the domain so let me copy this function name and what i will do here i will after the compute here we have defined the compute inverse then here i will define the search function so diff search age so the syntax is self comma operator so operator comma value so this is the syntax of how we have to define a search function so the arguments must be self comma operator comma value then here from here we have to return some domain to search right now i'll hard codedly return the domain as id equal to three so let me come to the ui and let me take Odoo Mates ID. Here you can see my ID is 17. So simply I had correctly return the ID as 17. So let's upgrade the module and see what happens. So currently we have made a hard coded domain. So we will be making it dynamic in the later part of this video. So let's go to the UI and let's upgrade OM Hospital module. So from here I will upgrade OM Hospital module. So you can see the module has been upgraded. Now if I come to the search view and if I search for age 12, you can see one record is getting returned. Earlier the filtration was not happening. Right now if you search for age 12, 
a record is getting returned which id is id 17 which we have returned from here so if you search anything with age if i search for 56 or 57 age the same record will get returned because we have given a hard-coded domain here now what we have to do we have to return a dynamic domain from here in order to get the correct search functionality so what i'll do from here is that date of birth or let me print i'll first of all let me print what we receive inside the value variable value so if we check this value we will be receiving the value entered by the user so i have printed here and let me restart and clear the log i'll clear the log and if i come to the ui and if i enter some age here 23 and if i search on that and if you come to the pie charm you can see the value we are receiving here here is the entered value by the user inside the search so we are receiving 23 over here now what we have to do we have to get the date of birth like we have to subtract 23 from today's date and we have to get the matching date of birth because we are computing the age is computing from the date of birth so we have to subtract from today we have to subtract the age to get the date of birth so let me add some code here so i'll remove this print statement and date of birth equal to date dot today so date dot today will give today's date they do today and i have imported the date if you check here i have imported from date time import date so date dot today will return current day then using relative delta so relative delta i'll copy this relative delta dot relative delta years equal to value i'll pass it like this so let me print the variables so print first of all i'll print date today 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 is date dot today date dot today I have printed then value we will be getting the entered value and if you print the date of birth now print date of birth and I'll print it here let's see what we are receiving over here so let me restart and let me go to the UI and let me enter some value here I will enter it as 45 and if you come here you can see today date is 22 2022 april 4 and date of birth is coming as 1977 april 23 because 2022 minus the entered 45 so if i enter some value let me enter 22 here search age and if you come here you can see today is 2022 minus enter 22 which will give us date of birth as 2000 so we have got a date of birth now what i'll do i'll return the domain so here we have to search inside date of birth field so i'll return the domain as date of birth equal to date of birth equal to this variable date of birth equal to this variable so simply i have returned the domain like this now let's restart and see what happens so i'll go to the ui so till now we were receiving always we were receiving 17 on searching now we have made the dynamic domain now if i search for 15 age 15 age 15 we are not receiving correctly because there is some problem so if you enter today's date april 23 i will make the age as april 23 here still the age is 15 and if you search 15 the value will be getting returned so if i search here here the age is date let me make to today's date that is april 23 you can see age is 12 if i search for 12 you can see it's getting returned now we have to make some more adjustment inside our function so we have to get like what i can say if age is 12 the patient's date of birth can be in between if it is age is 12 the patient's date of birth can be between january 1 and december 31st of 2010 that is if age is 12 we can say it hits date of birth may be between 
January 1, 2010 to 31st of December 2010. So we have to alter our condition here. So what I'll do, start of year. I'll add a new variable called start of year. Start of year equal to date of birth. So here we will be getting the correct date of birth dot replace day equal to one month equal to one simply i'll adjust some code and i'll explain it to you and i'll create another variable called end of year replace day equal to 31st month equal to 12 and what i will do let me adjust here also start of year comma let me copy the same and i'll put it here date of birth less than or equal to less than or equal to end of the year so simply what i have done is let me print these two variables print start start as start of your then end end of year and i have returned date of birth greater than or equal to start of year and date of birth equal to end of year so let me restart and see what happens so i'll go to the ui and what i'll do here initially when we have to put the correct exact today's date to get matching value now i'll change to some another day like july 11 still the age is 15. now if i come and search for 15 age 15 you can see the value is getting returned so if we check the log you can see start day is coming as 2000 so first of all we have subtracted the year and get the date of birth then i have replaced so in date of birth print if you print the date of birth you will be receiving what i will show you so i have cleared the log and if you go to the ui just delete this and if you search 15 you are getting correct value and if you check the log date of birth is coming as 2000 april 23 but the age can be in between 1st of january 2007 and 31st of december 2007 so simply from the date of birth i have replaced day with one so day 04 has been replaced with one and month also replaced with one so we are getting 2007 january 1 then next variable what i have done i have replaced day with 31 so day with 31 and month with 12 so i have got 2007 december 31st so two values has been given and into the domain i have set date of birth either greater than 2001 2007 january 1 and less than 2007 31st december so we have getting correct value now if i search for age 3 the correct value will be received if you search for age 14 you are getting age 14 so if you search for 34 there is no records so if you search for 12 you are getting two records so this is how we can define a search function for a field in odoo so when a field is non-stored compute field it cannot be stored it cannot be searched so in order to make it searchable we have to define the search function for that field for that what we have done is we have added along with the field definition search equal to a function name then the search functionality has been described here that is we are returning the domain from here so i hope you understood this video if you have any doubts feedbacks or suggestions don't hesitate to share with us over the email that is odomates at gmail.com and feel free to connect us in social medias like linkedin facebook twitter and instagram and also follow us in github so that's it for the day have a nice day thank you